Just a day after Miguna Miguna released his book to the public, Otieno Kajuang, a minister from the ODM side of the coalition government, has warned Miguna of dire consequences if he is unable to substantiate claims he has leveled against the Prime Minister, Raila Odinga. Even those who have hired him are very disappointed. <clears throat> because when you, you purport to prove a very grave point, and you have no evidence to do this. You look pathetic. And in my view, that is what he looks like. Let me remind them. Miguna was Raela's right-hand man for a very long time. Miguna was the coordinator of two strategy teams for the Prime Minister himself and for the party. Miguna was also the secretary of both groups and kept all the records. Not just that, I was also the permanent, I was also the secretary of the permanent committee in the management of public affairs. Now, think. Kajuang has dared Miguna to tell the ICC what he knows about the post-election violence, saying he is abating crime by withholding evidence. When launching his book on Saturday, Miguna Miguna, who was an advisor to the Prime Minister, said he had evidence that could take many leaders to the ICC. Every single leader here I can take to The Hague. Mark my word. I have it right here. And I'm saying, come baby, come. <laughs> so Miguna <clears throat> must own her. He must disclose that evidence and he must give that evidence in the Hague. And if it is amounts to nothing, he should himself be charged with those serious offenses. The 500-paged book by Miguna titled Peeling Back the Mask, A Quest for Justice in Kenya, has political memoirs that delve into the character of the Prime Minister and his close political and business associates. Kajuang has warned media houses to take caution when dealing with the memoirs, rest they be sued for libel. Josephine Wawera, GBS.